Let's get external websites embedded into your Dynamics forms. Maybe you want to implement information integration or utilize some real-time data that's on a company website or improve the UX so your users don't have to jump to multiple browser tabs. Let's talk about how you can add the external website control onto your Microsoft Dynamics forms. As always, here we are back in the Power Apps Maker Portal. In today's example, we are gonna be looking to add a external website to our account main form. So go ahead and navigate to your table and then find your form. Quick side note, I know I am not doing this in a solution currently, but you should always be doing this inside a solution. Once you have your form open, the first step is gonna be determining where you're gonna want this external website to live. It's likely gonna take up a ton of space. I've seen where people will dedicate an entire tab on the form to the website. The biggest thing is make sure you have these tabs and sections created before you add the website control. It doesn't make a huge difference, it's just way easier to navigate. But disregarding everything I just said, we're gonna be trailblazers and we're gonna add this to the bottom of our account information section here on our summary tab. Once you know where you're putting your website, go ahead and select the components button in the ribbon, open the display section in the left pane here and look for external website. Drag this external website control onto the form where you would like it to go. Once you let go, you'll need to place the site URL for the control to reference. Don't worry, if you do not have the site URL on hand, you are able to update this later in the control properties. Once you hit OK, the control properties pane will pop up on the right side of your screen. If you wanted to adjust the height of the website control, you can do that. You can also say if you want to allow scrolling. And lastly, there are some additional advanced properties here. At this point, the control should be displaying your website even in the form editor. If you are seeing this gray image here, then there's something wrong with your URL. Either it is misspelled or the control is not able to access it. Like I mentioned earlier, you can update the URL in the properties here. Once your form is good to go, go ahead and hit save and publish. While this is publishing, I just wanna say thank you for sticking this far in the video. If you find it insightful or helpful in any way, consider letting me know in the comments down below. Reading the comments, especially the heartfelt ones are the best part about making this content so be sure to let me know your thoughts down there I'm actually interested let me know how long you've been working with Microsoft Dynamics or Power Apps and how long you've been building solutions on these platforms okay we are done publishing let's take a look at our account in Dynamics you can see that on our account form we can now see our website here we're able to scroll we have all the functionality that the website has within this control here is what the website I inputted looks like when just simply browsing the internet now if you still want to take your forms one step further and increase the UI or UX in Dynamics I'm gonna recommend you check out this playlist here that's gonna talk about all of the other controls in Microsoft Dynamics and how you're gonna get them implemented into your systems. Your users are gonna thank you. My name is Ruben Lickfeld, the host of Citizen Developer. Thank you for seeing the end of the video and as always, I'm excited to connect with you guys in the next one.